Welcome to another Forge Hub Design Talk. Today, I'd like to compare two different options for starting weapons in Halo 5's Big Team Battle playlist. I'm talking about the Battle Rifle and the Magnum. Each of these weapons has merit as a starting weapon, but upon further analysis, I believe that I can make a strong argument for one over the other. We'll start by diving into some of the history of the Battle Rifle as a starting weapon in Halo. BR starts came to be preferred by the majority beginning in Halo 2. In that game, and Halo 3 in particular, the starting weapons were otherwise quite lacking in utility. The SMG, AR, and Magnum in each of those games did not provide any medium or long range capability, and players were often forced to spray and pray until they could pick up a precision rifle. This contrasted with CE's ultimate utility weapon's role in the starting weapon set. Even BR starts in subsequent games never quite compared with the individual empowerment provided by the CE Magnum, and rather placed a larger emphasis on team shooting. The BR's role as a surrogate starting weapon in later games provided players with more capability off of spawn, but introduced some adverse effects on the rest of the sandbox. Providing players with such a long-range option devalued non-precision Tier 1 weapons such as the SMG, Plasma Rifle, and others. BR starts also led to stagnation in many cases, with Lockout being a prime example. We'll talk more about that stagnation effect in a moment. Despite all of these effects, the BR was preferable due to its greater utility and wider skill gap relative to the alternatives at the time. The red reticle range, or RRR, on the battle rifle has always allowed for some degree of distance-based segmentation. This concept refers to areas on maps where players can see one another, but are so separated by distance that they cannot effectively engage with their primary weapon. This has always been an important aspect of BTB design in particular, with large open maps being especially dependent upon it. Halo 3's BR, despite doing so in a frustrating manner, was particularly conducive to this type of segmentation because of its bullet spread, its lack of hit scan, and the game's generally poor netcode. BR starts were necessary in these games where the Magnum was so lacking in utility, but it was never an ideal solution. Halo 5's battle rifle, unlike Halo 3's, is a hit scan weapon meaning that there is no travel time on the projectiles. It also has significantly tighter spread, a much longer red reticle range, and much better hit registration. This further reduces the role of distance-based segmentation and devalues non-precision tier 1 weapons. This is a non-issue in standard arena modes because players spawn with the Magnum and AR, and both of these weapons have much more utility than their counterparts did in H2 and H3. In fact, the H5 Magnum's red reticle range is much more comparable to past iterations of the battle rifle than the H5 BR's is. Leaving precision rifles as on-map pickups eliminates the aforementioned issues with sandbox balance and segmentation and also gives level designers more control over which long-range options players have access to on map. The shorter red reticle range on Halo 5's Magnum compared to the BR gives it a very wide skill gap in long range engagements, where players are not benefiting from aim assistance. With the BTB playlist intended to be unranked and less punishing to players, having such a wide skill gap on the starting weapon could be problematic. Using BR starts in BTB appears to allow players of all skill levels to stand a chance and to engage at the longer ranges present without exercising the sort of precision and thumb skill needed to thrive in a more competitive environment. This would suggest that BR starts are preferable in the more casual playlist environment. However, BR starts have had some rather serious unintended side effects. Rifle starts in Halo 5 cause stagnation. The lack of distance-based segmentation bogs players down in long-range standoffs and traversing open terrain when all players have access to rifles is an unattractive option. Movement opportunity is not only hindered, but is made less valuable because players can affect such a broad area from any given location. 
This is especially clear on the remakes of Standoff, Valhalla, and other layouts which originally relied heavily on segmentation by distance. VR starts also have severe adverse effects on vehicle usage. Warthog gunners are incredibly exposed to long-range rifle fire, and the BR's red reticle range is actually one and a half times that of the Warthog turret. Giving up two players with rifles to operate a Warthog is unjustifiable in most cases. BRs are also extremely effective at whittling down vehicle health with combined fire. Stagnation in marginalized vehicles are two of the largest negative effects of BR starts, but there are several others as well. When the BR is the secondary weapon, as it currently is in H5 BTB, it can cause a snowball effect when players are respawned. It takes longer to switch to the BR than it does to switch to the Magnum, leaving respawning players helpless to defend themselves for a slightly longer window. The Magnum can also grant slightly more individual empowerment than the BR. Envision a one-on-two combat scenario. With BRs, the constraint on the time to kill is the time it takes to release two bursts. Each of the two Spartans attacking the Lone Wolf will fire twice and the single Spartan will die. With Magnums, the constraint is the time required to fire three shots, despite it requiring only a total of five to kill. In other words, the Magnum's power compounds slightly less than the BR's does when team shooting because it requires an odd number of shots to kill. This gives an individual a fighting chance against multiple opponents without significantly lessening the importance of team shooting. Spawning players with battle rifles in Halo 5 does narrow the skill gap in long range engagements, making for a less punishing experience for casual players at a surface level. However, it creates stagnation by marginalizing an important method of map segmentation. It dramatically reduces the effectiveness of vehicles and of non-precision tier 1 weapons. Spawning players with magnums allows level designers more freedom in creating segmentation and allows them to be more deliberate in selecting the long-range engagement options at a player's disposal. For all of these reasons, Magnum Starts would be preferable in Halo 5's Big Team Battle playlist in my opinion. I hope you found this topic thought-provoking and insightful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the issue in the video comments. Thanks for watching.